scandal, death, TK in a fedora. It's time to revisit the nightmare that was Shortland Street in 2009. Come on out, sweetheart, and say goodbye. After killing Ethan Pierce in the 2008 finale, Maya Jeffries went crazy. Pretty much everyone in the hospital started avoiding her. Hey, we should go for a drink tonight. Oh, actually, I just remembered I'm supposed to be shopping with Scotty. Next time, I promise. Just you and me then? Yeah. She was yelling at people all the time. Also, she started wearing this cultural dressing gown. Not sure if that's part of it, but it definitely added to the fact that Maya was fucked in the head. That's not all that happened to the Jeffries family in 2009, though. Yvonne was in a bank robbery with a guy called Ben. She tried to stop the robber, who had a grenade, by the way, just by telling him off. You should be ashamed of yourself. Nice try. Ben started dating Tanya Jeffries for a while. He was a very masculine man, though. So, where are we going next? I know. A day spa. OK, I don't <laughs> even know what a day spa is. You want to take a wild guess? Day spa? In late 2009, though, Yvonne started secretly dating Ben. He was my boyfriend. You're my mother. This is just disgusting. <laughs> Sadly though, Ben was stabbed in a fight with some thugs because he stole their car park. By the way, please note Ben's car number plate. My two favourite things, BK69. One of my favourite couples in 2009 were Scotty and Shanti. They were an extremely wholesome married couple whose storylines mainly involved dramas to do with their home being too expensive. It was extremely exciting television. And then you get the power bill. You've got to be joking, 420 bucks. Maybe we should get this place insulated. Gabrielle Jacobs also arrived on the streets in 2009 and started dating Chris. She did not like having to be Harry's stepmom. She always put that arrogant little kid in his place. Classic mistake. Checkmate. You said you were good. Chris also dated Libby Jeffries in 2009. He took her to a lot of fancy restaurants. Unfortunately, Libby broke her shoe at one of them one time. My poor little shoe. Go ahead, have a look at it. Gary, could you do me a favor? Can you get me another pair in this size? This is a restaurant. Are you asking me to leave my job, go down to number one shoe warehouse, come back, here's some Crocs, bitch, bon appetit. Is that what you're asking? They have to be stunning and just add it to my bill. Libby also found being Harry's stepmom very difficult, especially when his pet rabbit died. Mum gave him to me, and now he's dead just like her. I hate SpongeBob. Harry! Oh, no. Things actually took a very dark turn for Harry in 2009 when he was recast. Harry and Chris left for Italy, and when they came back, Harry was played by a completely different actor. Look what Libby's done. It's cool. I feel like Chris just went to Italy, found a better child. He's like, see ya. Soldier hand in my happy water. Daniel Potts, Sarah's son, also came back to Ferndale in 2009. He got in with the wrong crowd, started hanging out with a guy called Orlando, who was head boy of the school. What did you and your mate get up to? Not a lot. Oh, we tied up a guy. What's wrong with you? Stop it! Dude, he's got to pee his pants. This is way better than the last party. Way better. I actually peed my pants at the last party, so hoping to take some heat off there. Anyway, Daniel cleaned up his act and head boy Orlando got expelled from the school. And then this guy became the new head boy. Um, that guy is 40 years old. He looks older than my dad. This is my dad, by the way. Hi dad, shout out. The new head boy got into a very serious accident and went into a coma in 2009. Daniel had to visit him a lot in the hospital. What are you going to play some music for? Pluto. It's his favourite. Do you 
think the mother knows that that's his favourite band? No, and she must never know. I would much rather tell my mum that I'm gay than tell her that I like the band Pluto. This is my mum, by the way. Hi mum, shout out. Morgan Braithwaite was another of my faves at the time. She married Gerald in 2009. Libby Jeffries tried to find her a wedding dress, but Morgan did not want to pay a lot of money for it. I could buy three family tents for that price. Everything I buy, I equate to how many family tents I could buy for the same price, and then I just buy that many family tents. I have 705 family tents. In the finale of 2009, Morgan was hit by Kieran in his car after the staff Christmas party. Gerald was absolutely shook. This doesn't happen in real life. Gerald, this isn't real life, mate. This is clearly a TV show. Nobody speaks like this in real life. Come on, bruv, trust me. I'm gonna make you some serious ka -ching. Where are they now? Where did you go, guys? Old Harry Warner. Old Harry Warner has a YouTube channel now. He's got a few videos on there, including how to make a potato gun. This is what happens when kids get left by their father. They become YouTubers. Happened to me. He also posted this photo of himself and commented on his own photo saying, I feel sorry for your family. Um, I don't feel sorry for your family, mate. They're doing fine without you. Ben Goodall. Oh, no. Definitely no. Oh, tip that fedora into the bin, please. I'm out. Tanya Jeffries. Okay, one of the first things that came up when I googled Tanya Jeffries was her profile on a foot fetish website. She got four out of five stars. Morgan only got three out of five stars. Kim Crossman, five out of five, motherfucker. The Feet community would like to thank Kim Crossman for her dedication and generosity to the movement. Gerald Tippett. He is asexual. A sexual beast. Thank you and good night.